What's going on, Voice Over Warriors and Keyboard Ninjas? Welcome back to Logic Band, a site full of tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you as a blind or visually impaired Logic, GarageBand, macOS, and VoiceOver users. Check out the blog at logic.band and subscribe. So today we're going to be taking a look at automation a little bit more in depth. We're going to automate a filter sweep using the Logic Channel EQ. And in this particular example, we got a pitch vocal track starting at bar 41 that we're going to put the channel EQ on and do a filter sweep that basically goes from about 200 hertz all the way up to 20,000 hertz. And this is a common effect that you may hear in EDM and other genres of music that may use this as like a transition effect and things like that. So in this instance, we're going to pick up on what we covered last time using two automation points. And we're also going to look at using single automation points. So if you remember two automation points, the value will hard change from say 2000 Hertz to 200 Hertz immediately. But when you do one automation point, the value will sweep from say 20,000 Hertz to 200 Hertz or vice versa, depending on how you have it set up. So we're going to look at how you can combine those two today. And today, instead of controlling a track parameter, we're going to be controlling a plugin parameter. And that is command control five for one automation point for visible parameter and command control six for two automation point for visible parameter. So instead of doing command control three and four, like we did last time, we're going to be doing command control five and six in this particular tutorial. All right. And this is a track that a former student of mine had done. They asked me to use something on the channel that they created. I'll put a link to their YouTube channel in the description. And also, if you want to do a full on logic course, check out icmusic.org. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. I am the logic trainer over there. And that is another way you can get some logic training under your belt and work with things like folk rehab if you're a college student and this is related to what you're doing in college so check out icmusic.org for more info on that and as always like share subscribe and let's get into it so in this particular instance we want to automate the high cut filter and by default the high cut filter starts at 20,000 hertz and we want it to start at 200 hertz and sweep up. So because it starts at 20,000 hertz, we got to drop two automation points at the beginning, then drop two automation points where we want it to snap to 200 hertz, and then drop one automation point where we want it to end back up at 20,000 hertz. And that basically means at the second new point where you drop the two automation points, it will drop down to 200 hertz immediately, but then it will slowly sweep back up from 200 hertz to 20,000 hertz and end at 20,000 hertz where that uh, single automation point is. And I noticed that in this case, like bypassing, you hear that click if it snaps from 20,000 hertz to 200 hertz. So you probably want to put it just before bar 41 and then just make it a little bit lower. So like maybe like 150 or 180 or something like that. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're on the track here that we want to automate. It's uh, track 13, track 14, pitch box like zero two big two inches. Track 14, all right. So I'm going to jump into the mixer and put the EQ on here. So I'm going to do command two. Now in project copy, project copy number one bit, mixer, tracks, window, pitch box like zero two underscore big underscore two, partially hidden, channel strip group. All right, so let's interact with the mixer here. Like zero two underscore and I'm going to use VO left arrow to navigate over to the first audio plugin slot and then add the channel EQ to that slot. So VO left arrow. Ah, 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 zero, off, 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 st send audio analog one stereo channel analog one slash two button. All right, so analog one slash two is just before the first audio plugin slot. So I'm going to be a right arrow one. Audio plugin button. VO space. Menu to recent dim channel EQ sub menu. Hit return. Channel up. EQ, check. Pit, pitch box like zero two underscore big underscore two. Dialog. All right, so we got channel EQ on this track. So I'm going to close this window for now. now. Project coffee. Close Project the mixer. Track content. And here we are back on a track header. So in tracks contents, group. Oops. Auto tracks, live loop, tracks header. Group in tracks head. Track 15 pitch box like track 14 pitch box like zero two underscore big All underscore. Right. So interact with the track header. In track 14 here. pitch, automation value, but volume, automation parameter, pop up button. And 
and we want to set this to automate the high cut filter. Menu, seven check mark, volume, display off, cycle through, automation, volume, main, sub, one channel EQ, sub menu. Right, channel EQ. One channel EQ, sub menu, 33 items, high cut frequency. High cut frequency, that's what we're looking for, so we have space on Press high cut that. frequency, one channel EQ, All high right. cut frequency, automation parameter, pop up button. Now we got it selected to automate the high cut frequency, so I'm going to stop interacting track 14 here. Pitch box, let's and I'm going to do command option one to open the first plugin on the track. So if I hit command option one. Pitch box let zero two underscore beep under pitch box let zero two underscore beep underscore two dialog. All right. So here we got we got this open. And I'm going to navigate over to the tables. Table. Low cut on slash off. Toggle right. button. Interact with this table. table. Low and VO down arrow to Selected. the high cut. Low cut on slow low 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 peak 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 one peak one peak two peak two free peak two gate peak two q peak three on peak three free peak three gate peak three peak four on peak four free peak peak four high shelf high shelf high shelf gate high shelf high cut on slash off toggle button. All right. So we want to make sure we turn on the high cut. So I'm gonna VO space Select here. Select high cut on slash off toggle button. And we got that on. High cut frequency twenty thousand hertz slider one hundred percent slider. The high cut frequency is 27 hertz. I'm going to make sure at the beginning of the project. One bar, one beat, one tick. And I just hit return to make sure I'm at the beginning of the project. So now I'm going to drop two automation points. So that's command control six. All right. So now I'm going to do control period to jump to the first transit on this track, which should be right around bar 41. So control period. All right. And I'm going to hit space to play. 41 bars, one beat. Perfect. So we know at measure 41, that's where to start so i'm gonna back up just before that 40 bars four beats one tick so 40 bars four beats one tick so we're right at beat four of bar 40 and i am gonna drop two automation points here but i want to set this to be something around 200 hertz first i'm going to interact with this frequency in high cut 20,000 hertz in slider 19,000 1,950 Drag this down to about 200, just below 200. 32.0 hertz, 30, 36.65.70.0, 150 hertz, 100, 170 hertz, 100, 150 hertz. Uh, let's go at 150. So we'll leave it at 150. Stop interacting there. And we're going to drop two automation points again. So command control six. All right. So we dropped our two automation points there. So now this is going to start at about 150 and start sweeping up because we're going to drop a single automation point at measure 49. So let's jump over to measure 49. So we're just going to use period here. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 48 bars, one, 49 bars, one beat, one tick. All right. So we got this at measure 49. And now we want to set the frequency back to 20,000 hertz. In slider, 160, 107. Alright, so slider. we're at 20,000 hertz. High 20,000 hertz. Slider. And we're going to drop a single automation point. So command control 5. Alright, so now we got a single automation point there. So I'm going to do comma to move backwards through this project. 48, 40, 40, 45 bars, 1 beat, 1 tick. Cut off. High cut frequency, 65.2% slider. Row 30 of 47 self. You see that is going down. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40 bar, 38 bars, 1 beat, 1 tick. And at measure 40, high cut, high cut frequency, 20,000 hertz slider, 100. It's at 20,000 hertz. 39 bars, one beat, one tick. Measure 40 bars, one beat, one tick. 41 bars, one beat, one. 41. High cut on slap, high cut frequency, 171 hertz slider. 30. It's at 171. So you see it's starting to change here. So now that we know that's happening, let's go back to about measure 30. 40, 30, 38, 37 bars, seven. one beat, one tick. And let's play into this and watch this sweep up. 37 bars, one beat, one tick. Seven bars, one beat, one. All right. Now, let's say you want this to definitely start at 200 at bar 41. We have two automation points at bar 40 beat four to have it snap down to 150. So what we can do is if we move to bar 41. 38 bars, one beat, one. 39, 40, 41 bar, 42 bars, 41 bars, one beat. All right. So we're at bar 41. Let's set this to be exactly 200. In high cut frequency, 171 hertz in slider. 170 173 hertz 100 100 100 100 179 180 hertz 190 hertz 200 hertz all right 
So we have this set to 200. I'm gonna drop a single automation point here. Command control five, all right. So now what's gonna happen is this will sweep from 150 to 200. So by the time it gets to bar 41, it will be at 200. And then as it will go from 200 to 20,000 Hertz from 41 to 49. So that's how you can have it specifically start at 200 and if i move back here to bar 40, 40 bars one beat one tick out of slider high cut 20,000 hertz slider you see that is at uh 20,000 hertz i go to bar 41 41 bars one beat one tick high cut 200 hertz slider. and you see that is now at 200 hertz and if i back up 40 bars one beat 39 bars one beat from 39 39 bars one beat one tick All right, so there you have it. So what you need to do is put two automation points at the beginning of the project, somewhere around where you want the situation to change from the default setting to whatever setting you want to start at. You need to move the playhead to that position. So in this case, measure 41 and set the frequency to about 200 Hertz. In this particular instance, because there is going to be a click when you do that, I'd recommend starting a little bit before. So have it snap to your frequency a little bit before or uh, something just below that frequency. In this case, I did 150. So I went to bar 40 beat four, set it to 150 and then dropped two automation points. So it snaps to 150. Then if you want to start specifically at 200 at bar 41, go to bar 41, set it to 200 Hertz, drop a single automation point and then go to bar 49 set it to be 20,000 Hertz and drop another single automation point. And wherever there's two automation points, it will snap to that value. But where you have one automation point, it will ramp up to that value. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for checking this out. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by making a donation at paypal.me slash logic.band, link in the description below. You can also get some one-on-one -on -one training if you want to dive deep in any of these topics surrounding Logic, or if you're new to Mac and want to get up to speed with voiceover. You can visit logic.band slash training for some one-on-one -on -one tutoring. And once again, there is a link to that in the description below. Also, don't forget to check the description below for a link to relevant tutorials here on YouTube and or to the blog on logic.band that has some supplemental information for this tutorial. Hope you found that useful and helpful. Please feel free to like and subscribe and share this with someone you know who's new to Logic and VoiceOver. As always, everyone, until next time, happy recording.